Elon Musk has just taken over Twitter. The world's biggest billionaire baby has got shitloads of likes on his latest tweets, and he's feeling extra gloaty. So, how is his $44 billion investment actually going? Well, let's take a look. His new take on the blue tick was so successful, the entire scheme was shut down within two days. As Twitter users realized they could pay just $8 a month to impersonate practically anyone on the planet, even former president. George W. Bush. Speaking of disgraced presidents, Elon tried to dig up the corpse of Trump's Twitter account, reinstating him after putting it to a Twitter poll. But even he didn't want anything to do with it. Donald Trump. Proving surprisingly in touch with public opinion, Trump wasn't the only one to turn his back on Elon, with Stephen Fry, Elton John, Gigi Hadid, and a slew of lucrative advertisers bailing in quick succession. But who needs celebs and ads when you've got all this new activity on your platform? Oh wait, looks like 32 million people are projected to make an exit in the next two years too. Aww. But how long can Twitter even last? Because it looks like he's fired all the competent staff. Who knew you needed engineers to run a successful tech company? So Twitter's going down the pan, but at least he's still got Tesla. A double dose of buzzkills for you. Starting with Tesla, shares dropping more than 6% to a new two-year plus low today. But at least he's still loved by the people. Elon defied expectations once again by becoming the least popular man on stage at a Dave Chappelle gig. Hey, wait, wait. To top it all off, he's just lost his status as the world's richest man. I guess that's what happens when you're a monumental 